Turning out to local news, after a brief hold, efforts are underway to get the Salinas Riverbed cleaned up. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola joins us live now from Paso Robles to explain. Alexa? Richard, staffing shortages as well as wet weather put a brief hold on cleanup efforts here in the Salinas Riverbed. Now the city of Paso Robles is ramping up those efforts once again. Several encampments on the southern part of the Salinas Riverbed will be cleaned up come Tuesday. It's where Daniel Stainbrook has called home for the last month and a half. As far as where I'm going, I don't know. But right now all I'm doing is just trying to get this place cleaned back up after a few setbacks. The police department gave notices a week ago to those living in the area. Kind of what will bring us to each area is if there's a fire or if there's some type of activity there. At this time, Officer Josh Lewis is the only member of the police department's community action team. This has caused a brief pause on the cleanup efforts this winter. With COVID and with staff shortages and whatnot, you know, certainly a little lull there. And as you can imagine, we come out and clean up a camp and in a few weeks, it's, it's you know, there's uh, another giant pile for us. Last year, the city says it removed roughly 250,000 pounds of trash from the Salinas Riverbed with a cost of just under $100,000 from general funds. Each camp can be from between 2,000 pounds and some of the camps had as much as 10,000 pounds of garbage. Cleanup efforts were initially in conjunction with the fire department due to high fire risk, but it's since continued due to flooding issues and the sheer amount of trash piling up. With at least 100 people currently living in the riverbed, the police department's community action team and a psychiatric technician try to help those like Stainbrook get on the right path. Ultimate goal, I was going to get my car going and I was leaving, I was going back up to Idaho to my brother's house. And a contractor will go in tomorrow to remove trash from that encampment. Now I'm told that each trash removal costs an estimated $1,500. For now, live in Paso Robles, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. All right, Alexa, thank you. Those who live in the riverbed are able to remove their valuables and personal property before the contractor comes in. Police have also stored items if they are unable to remove them.